Expedition, along with Siemens Team Center and Inex, breaks down the barriers between the ECAD and MCAD design domains through seamless data management and tools integration. Tight integration ensures that engineers and designers in both disciplines can collaborate on product development throughout the entire design flow. In Expedition, Team Center integration is available during both schematic design and PCB layout. In both cases, the integration can be used to perform tasks such as open, check in, check out, bomb compare, and save as. Here, the schematic designer uses save as to check the project into Team Center. Once checked in, the members of the design team have access to the bill of materials along with the project data. The team can easily review the bill of materials along with all attached files and EDA items such as the schematic and PCB. The attached files include derived data such as the schematic PDF, PCB drawings, and manufacturing data. Within Team Center, the visualization mockup module can be used to view, interrogate, and mark up attached objects such as the PCB layout. Switching to Inex, the mechanical engineer has created the enclosure for the product, along with defining the board outline, the location of several routing keepouts, and the location of the mounting holes. This information can be reviewed within Inex PCB Exchange prior to exporting to the ECAD domain. Since this is the first exchange of information between ECAD and MCAD, the mechanical engineer will export a baseline model file. Back in Expedition, the layout designer is able to use the Team Center integration to open and check out the project. The MCAT Collaborator function is then used to import the baseline IDX file. At this point, both domains are now in sync. The ECAD designer then leverages Expedition's 3D photorealistic visualization functionality and places all of the components. This placement information needs to be communicated to the MCAD domain. The layout designer uses the MCAD Collaborator to create and send the placement baseline to the mechanical engineer. In NX, the mechanical engineer imports the ECAD baseline file in order to update the MCAD data with the PCB placement information. The PCB assembly information now includes both summary and detailed information regarding all of the components on both sides of the board. The populated board can then be reviewed within the context of the enclosure and any other design objects such as internal wiring. Both domains are again in sync. The layout designer is now ready to implement several changes to the placement. Specifically, the card holder has to be moved and rotated, and the child board connector also has to be moved. This updated placement information needs to be communicated to the mechanical engineer as a proposal. The layout designer uses the MCAT collaborator to both preview the proposed changes and to create and send the incremental IDX file to the mechanical engineer. In NX, the mechanical engineer goes back to PCB Exchange and imports the incremental placement information. Within the incremental changes form, any proposed changes to board, components, areas, and holes are all listed in separate tabs. The mechanical engineer can choose to accept or reject the updates either individually or as a group. In this case, the mechanical engineer accepts all changes and the MCAD information is updated to reflect the new ECAD part placement. The updated placement is reviewed within the context of the enclosure, including the internal wiring, and both domains are once again in sync.